Hi friends, today we're going to talk some more about Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. Today, the part of the scripture that we're going to talk about deals with anger. And I don't know about you guys, but that's something I definitely have trouble with. As a matter of fact, when I was reading this verse and, and doing some research about it, I thought, gosh, there must be a reason that I'm the one who's teaching this lesson. So just so you guys know, this isn't just something that kids have trouble with. It's stuff that it's something that adults have trouble with, too. So it was really helpful for me to read about this and to study it because I feel like this is God's way of telling me that it's something that I need to work on, too. So what the part part of the Sermon on the Mount talks about today is the fact that when we're angry with one another, if we act out on that anger, then that's considered a sin. And sometimes it's really difficult for us not to act out when we're angry. We get so worked up about something that we feel like we're just going to explode and we don't know what to do. So what I wanted to do is share with you a few Bible verses that I found that I think give us some direction on what we can do when we get angry. So the first one is Proverbs 15.1. It says, a gentle answer turns away wrath but a harsh word stirs up anger. So it basically is saying when you are angry, that you need to be careful about the way you talk to someone. And that's difficult sometimes, isn't it? When we get angry, we just wanna scream and yell, but this Bible verse tells us that a gentle word is a better way to handle things when we are angry. So when you're in an argument with somebody or you're angry with someone, one of the things I can suggest to do is just take a minute and stop. Take a breath and get yourself calm. And then go back and talk to the person that you're angry with. Chances are, after you've taken a break, your words will be more gentle. And when your words are more gentle, then you're less likely to be mean and hateful when you talk to someone. So that's my first suggestion. The second verse is Numbers 14, 18. This verse says, The Lord is slow to anger, abounding in love and forgiving sin and rebellion. So when we read that verse, we see that God is slow to anger and abounding in love. And if our goal is to be more like God, to be more like Jesus, then we should also be slow to anger and more quick to love. So when you are angry with someone or you're angry about something, one of the things I can suggest is to pray for that person or pray about that thing that you're angry about. When you go to God in prayer and you ask for his help, then he will be able to show you that the better way to handle whatever it is you're angry about or whomever you're angry with is to love them and to show them grace. So that will be something that I would suggest to do as well. The final verse I want to share with you is Ephesians 4.26. It says, In your anger do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. What does that mean? Don't let the sun go down while you're still angry. Well, it does, it can mean don't end the day, don't let the day end while you're still angry with someone. But to me what it means is don't hold a grudge. When you're angry with someone or angry about something, make every attempt you can to work it out so that you're not carrying around that anger towards that person all the time. It's much better if you can work that out and let it go and then move on with that person in a more positive and a more happy and better relationship. So if you find that you're have this anger in your heart, that's another time, a great time to go to God in prayer and ask God for his help. Tell him how you're, why you're angry and ask for his help. Ask for him to soften your heart 
so that you can get rid of this anger and so that you're not going to carry around this anger in your heart. So friends, I hope these three Bible verses will be helpful to you like they were to me. They certainly give me some really good ideas of what to do the next time I'm angry, and I hope they'll do the same for you. See you guys later.